Another question we get asked, uh, I would say less frequently, but still we get asked it enough that I wanted to do a short video and answer it. And that question uh, essentially is, are we going to disturb the bats? Um, for example, someone sent us an email, told us they had a location where they wanted to put the bat house, but it was right next to a walking trail. I assume they mean within feet of the walking trail. And they were concerned that their occasional walks might disturb the bats and run them off. Um, you know, the other question tied to that is, will certain human activity disturb the bats, such as lighting, for example, night lights, uh, outdoor parties, pool parties, you name it. Um, we, we've been asked pretty much, will this disturb the bats? Well, bats are not like deer or raccoons even, or other wild animals that tend to shy away from humans and go hide. Uh, they pretty much just don't see humans as a threat for the most part, at least not when they're out flying and they're in their environment and feeding, you, you can kind of surmise this fact uh, by the fact that bats will fly considerably close to you. They're very curious animals, so when you're out walking about, you may notice one swoop by you, and they're just taking a look kind of to see what you are. Uh, they're not really all that concerned about your presence or what you are doing, so long as you're just milling about being a human. Um, you know, night lights is a big question. Will that bother the bats? Um, in my experience, not so much. Uh, the bats will actually be drawn to the bugs flying around the night lights and eat those bugs. So I think the biggest concern about having a night light is getting your bats too fat. Uh, you're, you're giving them an easy meal. Uh, when it draws the moths and the bugs around those lights. But in general, the lights are not going to bother them. You walking by on a path occasionally, not going to bother them. Um, you know, you don't want to be getting up into the bat house. They could view you as a predator activity. Uh, if a predator is continually prodding and digging in the bat house, they may abandon it for a safer location. So if you constantly go out there and are putting a thermometer in here or reaching up in here, uh, which I totally do not recommend that you do anyway, um, you know, that might disturb them, but just general activity is not. So let me answer the flip side of that question. What human activities would bother the bats? Uh, what, what would drive the bats away? Well, uh, pretty much uh, they're going to ignore you and go on about their business. But uh, smoke can have a big impact on them. If you uh, have an area where you build like a yearly bonfire or you have a burn pit where you gather debris off our property like we do uh, every year, we take all the fallen trees, limbs, branches, waste from cutting firewood, those types of things, and we have a specific area where we burn that that would not be a good place to put a bat house because the smoke and the fumes from the burning uh, can get up and actually disturb the bats when they're there if you're burning uh, during the early spring part of the year. Uh, that could actually disturb the bats. But in general, no, it's not something that you need to worry about. So get your bat house, go put it up 10, uh, 10 foot minimum, 12 to 15 feet is actually better. But uh, yeah, don't worry about that. Just, just go on and put your bat house up, follow the instructions, and, and enjoy having a bat house around. So you guys subscribe, and I'll keep bringing you more videos.